Hello everybody, I hope you're having a good day wherever you're in the world. Today's video is quite different from the recent ones that I have currently posted up on my channel and this video today is a Poundland stationery haul. I don't remember the last time I did a stationery haul. I don't think I have ever done one on this channel which is quite shocking because I am a massive stationery addict when it comes to anything to do with pens, pencils, organising files, wallets, revision cards, notebooks, you know, it's kind of like a little addiction that I have and I love stationery a lot. So when I saw this new range in Poundland I was quite shocked because normally the stuff that Poundland have is not great quality and not very good looking. So when I saw the new range I thought I would definitely give everything a go and see if it was decent, which from what I have brought, everything is actually very decent and I'm fairly surprised. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this little stationery pack that comes with a ruler, a sharpener, a highlighter, a pen and two pencils. Now for one pound, I think this is pretty decent. Um, I was actually fairly shocked when I saw this was for one pound because I'm so used to going into stores now and just seeing everything so separate, so not in a pack. It's either you buy it in a one pack so you get four pencils, four pens, or one sharpener, one highlighter, etc. Or you buy one of these online and they are just super expensive. So I'm gonna give you the go. And I am fairly impressed with the quality so far. I like the look of the new range. Um, and I'm especially intrigued to see what colour this highlighter is because it doesn't say. So I'm very much looking forward to trying this. Staying on the line of highlighters, I actually bought two packets of highlighters. So one of them is thin um, fine tip markers, I think what they are. <laughs> um, I didn't actually look. Um, so these colours are pink, uh, green, blue and yellow and from what I can see they're actually pretty decent. I want to open them now because I'm fairly scared because I haven't actually seen anyone open these yet so we'll have to see what they look like. So out of the packet you have this end, I did think it was a fine line things never lie. I think that looks quite good quality actually. I mean, oh, what happened there? Oh, the plastic coverings come. The plastic covering moved. <laughs> I was quite shocked then. Okay. Oh my goodness, I did think it was double-ended. Oh, that's so cool. So all of these pens, without breaking the plastic wrapping, um, are double-ended. So that's really handy because I honestly thought when I bought these highlighters they were only um, fine tip ended but no this is brilliant because I need to highlight a lot of stuff in the future so I am fairly pleased with that. Um, all I'm a bit disappointed about is the actual wrapping itself um, comes undone and it's not actually sealed onto the pen properly so that's the only downside to the pack. But I actually really like that. That is very well impressive. The next pack of highlighters I am showing you is from a different range, but they're basically the same colour, except that they don't have double ends. They are just one-ended, normal highlighters. They're all the same colour. You've got um, pink, yellow, green, and blue. And from what I can see, fairly good packaging. Um, one thing that might let you down, and I can see it slightly going here, is the wrapping. That's all I have concerns about, but so far I'm liking this range. The next thing I'm going to show you um, is something that I need to use a lot in the next couple of months and next couple of years almost because of studying, and that is packs of revision cards. Now these are absolutely handy for anything. So you have, I say, how many pages are in it? 100 pages, I did think there was, of little lined pieces of paper. And basically, you rip them out every time you want to store information separately. So 
if you are studying English and maths at school. A great way to do this is to divide the pack in half, so get 50 pages, rip them out, and then get 50 pages again and rip them out and then write all the things that you need to know on them. Revision cards are really handy and they also are great travel buddies as well because I have a pack of revision cards in my um, actual bag that I take to me take with me to college and they are actually really really handy because if you keep them on the train if you keep them on the chain that they come with or if you keep them in the book they are really really handy and I think for one pound for a hundred actual cards is really really good. The next two items I'm going to show you are the most adorable little notebooks I have seen in a very long time. These are A6 notebooks and the first one I'm going to show you has this kind of marbleized pattern on it and it says, is it lunch yet? Which, I come out of college at 12.30 so this is a great one for me and this one is kind of like minimalistic look. I'm not entirely sure but it's got a couple of triangles and it says you are capable of amazing things. I find these kind of books really handy because if you're on the go all the time and you think, oh shoot, I need to jot something down but don't have a big notepad, these are just excellent. They slot in your handbag or even in your pocket if you're lucky. Um, and they're just the most helpful little things. And for one pound, I think it's pretty much a good bargain actually. The next notebook that I'm going to show you is a A5 notebook and it is this one that says no rain, no flowers and it has a little rain cloud with rainbows coming out of it and I think this is very cute. I'm quite a very emojicon type of person, I like these sort of styled books. Um, I think the quality of paper isn't actually that bad um, in this book and the others are pretty good as well. I was quite surprised when I saw these because normally um, Poundland notebooks generally don't last that long. If you have um, like Bic pens or like ink pens they go straight through but from what I'm seeing here they're actually pretty thick pieces of paper. And I like that it's actually quite small and quite compact and good for on the go. I've got three more notebooks to show you and they are A4 notebooks. So this one is just honeycomb pattern with some marbleized colours and some marble. I really like this one. Same again, the paper is actually pretty decent and they are all fairly handy and will last me a while. Um, this one is... A sparkly um, calligraphy against a pink background and it says I'm really busy I quite like this one a lot I tend to say that a lot as well so it just kind of suits my everyday needs and then the last one is a copper writing on some marble background and it says believe achieve repeat and same again the paper's really good. I'm looking forward to using these because I've got one notebook currently in my bag and it's getting fuller by the day, so I cannot wait to dig these out and try them. The next items that I'm going to show you are all for the organising part of having a life at college or school and university. I highly suggest that if you want to organise your work, put them into wallets, folders, um, box holders, stuff like that. It keeps the work together and it's really nice to just sort of grab things on the go and take them with you. The first thing that I'm going to show you is this four pack of A5 wallets. Um, I think for a pound for four of them is actually pretty decent. Um, you can put revision cards in there, just little slots of like notes that you've been taking or you can even, if you wanted to, label them and have different like classes that you take. Um, for the quality that I've seen so far, I like the design and I also like how well um, they've been made. They're also pretty decent in um, material as well. Let me get one out. So actually, like holding one in my hand properly, you've got a lot of space to use up and this will get 
um, bigger as you put more stuff in it but I think for the quality of one pound you can't ask for more than that really I really like these and I think for four of them it's worth buying for a pound especially if you want to stockpile some of these they're just really handy staying on the lines of wallets and pockets we have a A4 document wallet folder so it's exactly the same as the A5 except a little bit bigger and has a different design on it let me get one out so these are actually quite spacious so if you wanted to like with the other ones you could label them put notes in there even your a5 notebooks you could put um, your work in there could really organize yourself um, even like letters um, so if you're an adult or if you're like me and have lots of medical notes stuff like this really helps if you want to organize your life a little bit better um, same again with the other ones this is different this is the two pack instead of four um, I think for a pound that's actually pretty decent considering they're double in size um, I will definitely see what they're like I'm a little bit eh, underestimating how good quality they are um, but so far I'm liking the design I'm liking the quality actually I thought they were just gonna break instantly but no I'm actually fairly surprised and I really like this design as well kind of reminds me if you like put glass up to a window or like little crystals and you can see this kind of rainbow pattern on your floor oh it's so cool I really like it the next two things I'm going to show you are exactly the same and they are organizing albums now basically these are known as display books so they have little clear poly pockets inside them and basically what you can do is store your work in them um, for one pound each I thought that was pretty decent and I don't know how many pages there are actually hopefully there's a lot more than I think I think there's around 10 or 20 pages which you could fit about double the amount of work in but I really like these I put double because I'm doing maths and English at my college I also thought it'd be more handy and more decent to have two instead of just one because cramming both work into one folder is just not the way to do it so having two of items can really help that's why I bought mainly two of the next things I'm going to show you is that it makes it easier to find things and it's also more helpful if you buy two so for two pounds for two little folders I actually really like this Right, the next thing I'm going to show you is in two, like the other wallet display folders that I just showed you, and this is a box folder. Now, I have never actually owned one of these before, and when I saw them, I fell in love with them. The only thing that can make them a little bit better is that if the bottom flap here had magnets on it, and they would stick to these side bits here, so you could actually keep it structured, or... I'll just probably like sellotape mine but I really like them uh, for the amount of room that you have I think you could fit a lot of stuff in here and they are really handy as well for like on the go or just storing them in like your room somewhere I bought two of these for the same because for both lessons I'm going to need to store stuff away properly and I am very impressed with the quality of this this is proper cardboard and I love the design they've used on half of the um, range that I've bought. And yeah, I just really like that. Why is there a four etched into my folder? That's a bit weird. But yeah, for the quality of the box folders, I am very impressed. The last thing I'm going to show you is an actual folder. I've only bought one of these and I think I might go back and pick up another one. Um, this is just your average folder that you can just place on a bookshelf and get it out when you need it. Um, I think for the quality of this, it's like all the others, it goes beyond my expectations. I also love the covering again, well done Poundland, you've really exceeded my expectations. Um, I'm going to definitely be using all of this and will probably use it up in, within weeks or months of having them. Um, 
So, so far on my review of this entire range, I absolutely love the designs I have picked up. I also love the quality. Although a few things have let me down a little bit, it's nothing major than I thought it would be. Especially the display folder here, I think that exceeded my expectations completely. Um, if you'd like to pick up anything I've talked about, I will leave a link in the description box down below to take you to the Poundland website. I hope you enjoyed this guys, if you did please give it a like, a comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!